Hi folks, welcome to chapter 7. The mill is here. Um, I have to say it was a little frustrating. The company said it would be here between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. and they also had said something about, I thought it being in a uh, box style truck with a lift gate and it's 7 p.m. the mill finally came so five hours late which is fine I was just we were worried about it getting here um, and it came, came in a 45 foot uh, semi truck a, a true tractor trailer so for all of those of you who may live on streets where that's difficult um, as it might be in a lot of residential neighborhoods just an FYI um, driver was very helpful, very polite. We got him with his pallet jack to bring the boxes into the garage. The first one here we've already started to take apart. The box on top of this one had the two chip trays which we removed and both those chip trays are setting in there. I'll just show you everything is, this is a big mill. Um, you can see when I hold up one of these chip trays that these are, these are pretty good sized um, trays especially when you're coming from a, a mill like the Tay. So, those are out of the way. I rewatched the video on the Torbach website which talks about how to deal with the stand. So the next thing we're going to do is get into this plastic and get the stand going. You can see that the uh, support underneath the pallet um, broke or slid, slid over. Um, we took a, we did an inspection that looks okay. I hope it's okay. We'll let you know. Um, but importantly, uh, we had this package dropped here and then we had the mill box dropped over here. We cracked the top after we cut the bands to take a look. The mill looks okay. Um, the driver with, who had the pallet jack sort of helped explain to us that um, this, so the, the side of the serial numbers are is either the front or the back. So that's not the side of the mill, that's the front or the back of the mill. But if you look, the, um, the, jack, uh, the pallet jack um, has to go from the side so he wasn't able to put the mill in directly on its side because you couldn't pull the pallet jack out due to the width of my garage. It's a narrow garage, I think it's 114 inches. So what we did was got it angled as close as we could where we could still uh, scoot the pallet jack out the side and um, you'll, you'll, you and I will we'll soon see, but I think this is plenty good um, to get at the mill. Uh, you you want to take a peek in the top there? And, uh, yeah, so that's it for Chapter 7. Uh, next up is going to be more on the stand and uh, burning the midnight oil.